Hey YouTube, um, just gonna do a quick tabletop review of my Sigsaw P226. Sorry about the noise, that is my dog spinning and chasing her tail around because she's just a retarded dog. <laughs> um, this is my first video review, so sorry it's not the most professional of reviews. I will get better over time, you just gotta give me a chance. We'll see how we get on. Anyway, on to the pistol itself. Shut up. This is PC26. It's chambered in 177. It's a very nice air pistol, to be fair. Really like this. Um, it's pretty much an all metal construction. So, the top slide metal the bottom low receiver is metal this does not come with a rifle this I added this is a little laser pointer I bought from um, Amazon I'm not very impressed with it I would not recommend this it doesn't fit onto the lower Picatinny rail which this has um, doesn't fit on it properly so it's kind of a botched job put on pull it on there and because of it, you're meant to be able to zero it, but you can't. So, when you look at it, it is really, really off. don't know if you can see that. So, that's the laser pointer there. There you go. Now you can see how off it is. Which is fine, obviously, close. So it's not the end of the world. When I'm shooting stuff in my, down the bottom of my garden... Laser point is there while I'm shooting over here. It's pretty bad. I would not recommend this at all. But yeah, so underneath here is a metal lower Picatinny rail. Um, I'm going to keep this on here just because it looks cool. I'm not going to lie. Um, that's my dog. That's Jess. The pistol grip itself, this bit is polymer. Um, Looks like obviously like nice bit of groove in the stuff. It's not. It's just plastic. It's not bad though. Feels quite nice. Um, feels like you can hold it quite comfortably. Nothing really slips. All in all, it's quite a decent, steady pistol. Um, go over some features of it. So, start from the front, work away across. Apologies if I flick backwards and forwards. Like I said, I am getting used to it. So. This front bit actually comes off. So you unscrew this. And underneath is it's threaded. It's pretty decent, so you can put a suppressor on there. Uh, I believe that it will not fit the standard suppressors. What you need to do is buy the SIG specific suppressor if you want to put anything on there like that. Um, bottom bit under there, literally for show. Uh, Picatinny rail underneath, like I said. Don't know if you can read that. Just says the chambering. 177, 4.5 mil caliber, six or PT26 and a naval sign. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why there's a naval sign, but there is. Uh, this bit strictly for show does nothing. Oh, laser pointers on. And <laughs> like I said, this is a bit of a new air uh, new review, so. Apologies for that. Uh, up receiver. I know I went back on myself here. Metal. Uh, when you fire, it actually moves. So this cocked back. Which is really cool. Really nice to see. Um, rear sighting blades. Front sighting blade. Not adjustable. But I found they're pretty accurate. Um, good bit of fun. 
I shot it up to 10 meters, I'd say, 10, 15 meters, and um, it's pretty accurate for what it is. Hammer, hammer it while it's on safe, just flicks back up when it's on live, cocks and holds. I'll go on to the safety catch now, since obviously I'm just talking about it. Safety catch is here. Red meaning it's safe, uh, ready to fire. Flicking it down, puts it to safe. When the safety is on, hammer just doesn't lock back down. Trigger when the hammer is down, will still pull, but it doesn't actually fire off any action. Flicking it to live, which is actually really comfortable and easy here. Uh, when it's new, it's a bit stiff, and also you obviously need to learn the mechanism, but you literally use the side of your thumb, flick it up, it's good to go. Red to point and ready for, and it's ready like that. There's no rounds in here quickly. Magazine's over there. Don't even think there's any air in it. But you pull the trigger, find out in a second. Might be some residue, so I apologise if it's a bit loud. Dog might start barking. No. You can hear the difference. Again, flick it back to safe. You're good to go. Shut up, dog. <laughs> I think the next time I might kick her out. Magazine itself. Really nice magazine, to be fair. I quite like this because it feels more realistic. Um, from actually shooting pistols, loading a magazine like you would. You can practice your drills obviously within reason um, but it's very nice I may buy another one of these so basically it's an eight round rope move magazine that you would normally get pellets feed in here literally just slot in move it along put the next one in move it along put the next one in move it along next one in flick it round do exactly the same pellet goes in move it along flick it down move it along Flick it down, move it along, flick it down. Then take your magazine with that bit at the rear. Magazine just goes in, slots all the way in, and you can hear a click. To unload, that's your magazine catch. Literally slides out. So you finish your eight rounds, flick it over, flick it back in. Does that. Very nice magazine. Uh, I'll go into some thoughts about it in a second at the end um, but for now all in all that's very nice I like that now CO2 CO2 in here is very different design from what I've gathered from playing with a couple of air pistols and looking at bits online so normally you have a little screw thing that you have to use not in this case so you just pull that little lever down at the back and you pop it out like that CO2 literally goes in there, just in here. So take your CO2 canister. Personally, I've found that they prefer ones. See this little lip here. So I'll show you the quick difference. I bought these. These came with the air rifle, ASG ones, uh, air pistol. Sorry, I bought them from the shop, and these I bought online from Amazon. Now I don't know how well you can tell. But although they are exactly the same in the top, exactly the same spec, the neck in this one's foul. This one's thinner. I found that these are easier to get out in, don't make a difference. Getting them out can be a bit of a bugger because they just sit in there and they rattle. You have to keep shaking it. And uh, obviously, you just want to get back to doing shooting. So it's not the end of the world because these are cheap. I think these are a little bit dearer, but I would recommend these ones because of that. I'll quickly load some CO2 in. Hopefully I don't bugger this up, but literally just slots in there like that. Spin it around so you know it's all good. And then you've got this catch. And what this has is at the bottom pushes it up, pins at the top, and that's what pressurises your air pistol. So you've got you got a little bit of play here, and then it goes stiff. What you need to do is get your thumb, 
index finger. And you're not, don't be scared. I was scared and I pissed air everywhere, thinking I was going to break it because I know I'm heavy handed. What you've got to do is push it. And now you've got a lot of resistance. You've just got to be brave. Don't think you're going to break it. Push it and it's on. And that's your CO2 good to go. You're not going to fire it off in the house because the dog will go absolutely mental at me. She's not impressed by CO2. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, that's you good to go. Obviously, you put your pellets in. Click it to live. Cock your weapon. Good to go. Like I said, it's a blowback action. So when you pull the trigger, that fires back. As that does that, it obviously puts cocky handle down and loads your next one in. Which is very nice. Very nice action. Uh, very smooth. I'll do some shooting of it in the garden probably later. I'll put another bit of a video on there for that. Um, so good points and bad points. Good points, all metal design. So it feels strong, feels reliable, feels realistic to be honest with you. Uh, picketing rear at the bottom is very nice as well. So you can add laser pointers if you want to spend money on a decent one. I'd recommend doing that. Um, magazine, very nice. And the CO2 loading, very, very nice as well. Um, bad points. So, CO2, it's fussy. Obviously, like I said, with the nets, it will take it, but it will have a bit of a paddy with you trying to get it out. Uh, magazine. So, magazine, obviously, you've loaded your eight rounds, you loaded your eight rounds. Put it in, happy days, go along, shooting, bang, 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 bang. Go to reload it, so you do that. Now, obviously, these pellets are really light. They're really flimsily held in. Let's see if I can put one in there for you. I'll show you how flimsily they held in. I'll go on to recommended pellets in a second. So these are the domed ones, which are actually a bit better. So, yeah, you've loaded your pellet just like this. So like I said, do you remember what I said? It was pretty easy. Literally. Well, they are easy to put in. But they easily fall out as well. Won't do it now, watch. Yep, yeah, see? So if you obviously feel the shock of it coming out and you've obviously been shooting, so this is rattling about a bit, pellets tend to fall out every so often. Um, so I've gone to load up a fresh magazine, looked at it, and like that one's missing. It's no big deal, obviously you just miss a shot, but it's kind of annoying at the same thing. Um, yeah. Not overly impressed that. Also, I'll talk about pellets now because uh, this is where I've had a couple of faults. So, these are ones that I bought at the shop. Recommended them. I don't recommend them at all. So, these are flat tip ones. So, unlike these ones, just seen that bit of rubber. These ones are flat, these ones are tipped. Obviously just domed, not really like a bullet tip. These ones have a habit of occasionally getting stuck. Now, when it does get stuck, I don't know why it gets stuck. So, because it loads exactly the same. Just literally just pops in there. But I'm guessing it's because it comes a little bit loose. So like I said, you know they rattle about and move about and stuff like that. I'm guessing one of these does the opposite way of falling out. It pushes forward somehow. Or gets jammed. And when it gets jammed, it is a fucker to get out. So, the magazine's in there. You go suppress the safety cap, uh, magazine release, and it gets about there. And you're like, brilliant. And you're doing that, 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 and it doesn't come out. Uh, you think, oh, I'll unscrew these. Hopefully I'll be able to get to it and be able to take it out. Underneath here is literally just metal and some screws. And they do nothing. As far as I can tell, they do absolutely subtle to help getting it out. So I put a little screwdriver up there, a really thin, flat one. Shoved it up there. Because um, I don't know if it's just my pistol. Um, my dog's arse there, lovely. Um, or it's a common fault. I tried to look online, um, didn't see too much about it. But basically, just play with that magazine release. 
So keep pressing it, pushing it in, pressing it, pushing it, pressing it, pushing it, and eventually it'll work its way out. Shove a little screwdriver in there as well, and just keep playing about with it if you get that fault. If anyone else had that fault and found better ways, please let me know in the comments or whatever. Um, again with the CO2, this eats up CO2 quite rapidly. Because it's all metal and it's pushing this backwards, it does go through CO2 quite rapidly. I'd say it takes about mm, two mags before you really start noticing it. So 24 to 30 shots and then you start noticing the CO2 drop off massively. Um, I've shot some good fun stuff with this to be fair. Um, blown up cans and stuff like that. Wouldn't penetrate a bottle of coke, you know the big 2 litre, 1.75 litre bottles of coke. It will not penetrate that for love or money. But I've got a 2-2 rifle now, so I'm going to give that a go and see if I can mess that up. Um, this cost me, I believe, about £130 from um, Dauncey Firearms in Wiltshire. It's a good little shop. Uh, it comes in packaging, not like a box or anything. It looks like something that you expect a BB gun to come in. So it's literally just this big see-through packaging that you hook on the wall sort of thing it looks tacky as hell uh kind was initially putting me off it but don't let it put you off you off the packaging the packaging makes it look very like you're buying a kid's toy that is just gonna go and make a noise not actually fire anything go pew or some shit uh sorry for the language there yeah? um <laughs> but it's great it's great fun I'd recommend one of these, definitely. There's a P250 uh, as well, which is a bit cheaper. Wouldn't recommend that. Uh, I've seen a lot of reviews on that, very mixed reviews. Uh, the only other thing I'd say is I'd possibly get this if I bought it again in black. I bought it like this because personally I like the colour. I'm sad like that. I'm a big fan of two tone. But it marks quite easily because it's only the um, just paint colouring, isn't it? So hopefully if you had the black one, it wouldn't show up marks as much. So if you are, like me, quite heavy handed, um, I'd recommend the black one. The green one does look good, doesn't it? Alright guys, um, hopefully I haven't taken up too much of your time. I'll do a video of shooting it when I get a chance. But, I just want to show you that. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, any comments, uh, any advice on doing videos like this? Like I said, it's my first time. Um, see my air rifle back there. I'm going to do one of, try to do one of that. But I ran out of memory. Um, let me know. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.